Um, now, with the internet going where it is, right? With the amount of information out there, I mean, you can essentially get information from everywhere now, right? Um, my, my question is, are investors getting smarter, right? And what are your five essential tips to becoming a better investor? Five essential tips. So I think by and large, I would agree with the premise that investors are getting, <clears throat> they're getting smarter. There's just more ways of thinking, more methods of investing, and it's an accumulation of all the investing knowledge and savvy that we have gone through and built on each other, right? So I would say at the same time, what is hardwired in us is, the, is, 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 is fear and greed. Those things don't change. So it's really whether they can they can rein in the, those emotions and let their IQ do the, do the work. But at the same time, the market doesn't always reward um, smart investors. Smart investors, like institutional investors, might be might be very focused on the fundamentals. Whereas retail investors um, and people who run the forum, it's very similar to Reddit. Uh, look, look, look at things very differently. So they might hype up something, they might talk about something that is not quantifiable, the future, and then it gets hyped up. So would you say one is wrong on one or the other? I would say that's just the market, right? That, that, that is just what the market is. It's exuberant, it's irrational at times. And what the investor has to do to balance out both of these forces in the market is to really have a disciplined method to invest in. Whatever it is, work the plan. Because if you jump from one style to another, and there are many types of styles out there, you end up being erratic, and you end up being probably very disappointed with your results. So if you're a fundamental guy, stick to your fundamentals. If you're a, a momentum trader, you trade based on headlines, you trade based on momentum of, of where investors are rushing, stick to that method, refine your skills, and, and, and then um, and, and, and then stick to your to your discipline. So that leads on to I guess the five essential tips that you, you talked about, right? So let me just point them out in bullet form first. So so the first thing is timeline. What is your timeline to to invest? You are investing presumably for a future financial goal. So how much time do you really have? Is it five years, twenty years? Because that determines how much risk you can take. Low, uh, low risk for short period of time, high risk for long horizons. Um, the second thing I would say is your risk tolerance. Don't so for more and say, oh, what's wrong investor in this? I should pile in without knowing anything about it. If you make a recommendation, all well and good, I pile in. But you're not going to be there necessarily to tell me when to sell, tell me when to buy some more. So you've got to rely on your own Wits to, to 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 decide. So figure out your own risk preference. This takes experience because you need to be invested to know your emotions. So so risk tolerance is very very important. Uh, third thing I'll say is diversification. Diversification is a very very huge factor to remaining invested for the long term. Make sure you spread your bets around and position your portfolio well according to your risk because. You shouldn't just play whack a mole with what's going to do well this year and what's going to do well now, right? And the fourth thing I would say is fees. If you're trading, if you are a long term investor, you also need to look for fees. That will really work against you because it erodes your gross returns. The net returns might be eroded away, it's terrible, right? So, fees, fees, fees. Just look out for them. Unit trust, investment link products, all notoriously high fees. The last one I would say is is getting started. Right? Like like for 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 some of you who are sophisticated already, I think this doesn't apply to you. But if you're new and you procrastinate, then the compounding effect will also not work for you. Time value of money will work against you. If you start investing now, you start investing uh, small sums of money. You don't have to go in big. Then you could really learn from your formative years, and if you make gains, they will actually compound on itself and set you up very nicely for the future. I think what every savvy investor knows is they wish they start earlier because then the amounts of money they need to put aside 
and the compound returns that they expect from their returns actually takes a lot of pressure off if you start early. So there are a lot of investment platforms you can you can try now for a thousand bucks or ten thousand bucks or less and just get started. So yeah, that's my five.